I'll first show you how to upgrade Joomla using an extension called Update Manager. To get a free copy of Update Manager, I'll go to Joomla.org and then Extensions, then enter Update Manager in the search bar, and then hit Return. Here it is right here. I'll click on the Download button, and then I'll click on the file name to download it. I'll save this to my desktop. Back in the back end of my site, I'll now install this extension by going to Extensions and then selecting Install Uninstall. And then I'll browse to where I've got the Update Manager package. When I find it, I'll double click on it and then click on Upload File and Install. Now I'll go to Components and then select Update Manager. Before I use this component to upgrade the site, I'm going to make one change in the parameters. I'll select Parameters here and then next to the Extraction method, I'll select 1.5 Default Extractor and then click on Save. I found that if I leave this set to 1.6 Extractor, I see some error messages after the upgrade. And now that that's all set, I'll click on Download the Update File. This message here says that I'm currently running 1.5.14 and that the latest release is currently 1.5.15. I'll select the Patch Package, which only has the changed files for Joomla since the 1.5.14 release. This message is saying which patch package has just been downloaded from the joomlacode.org site. It's the right package, so I'll click on You Can Proceed with the Install. This page is telling me that I've successfully upgraded Joomla, but if I look up in the upper right corner, I can still see that the version says 1.5.14. If I go to another page, however, such as the Article Manager, when the page loads, now the version says 1.5.15, which is the current latest version of Joomla. Now I'll show you how to upgrade using an FTP program. First, I'll go to Joomla.org, and then I'll click on Get the Latest Version, then Download Other Joomla 1.5 Packages, and in this list on the JoomlaCode.org site, I'll look for the update package for updating Joomla 1.5.14 to 1.5.15. Here's one of them right here, in a zip file format. That's the one I usually download, so I'll click on its file name to download it. And I'll go to that file on my desktop now. I'll need to unzip it first. To do this on a Mac, I'll just double click on it. On a PC, you'll need to use extraction software like WinZip to unzip this file. Now I'll open up my FTP program. I'll go to File, Site Manager, select my site, and then click on Connect. Now I'll click on the public HTML directory. These are the files for my Joomla site right here. If you're testing the upgrade patch on a clone of your live site, you would do what I'm about to do in the directory for the clone of your site. I've already tested out this upgrade patch on a clone of this site, so I'm going to apply this patch to the live site. Now in the file directory for my computer, I'll navigate to where I have the unzipped Joomla update file. Here it is right here, and I'll double click on it to open it. Now I'll select all these files by selecting the first one, holding down the shift key, and selecting the last one. Now I'll right click over one of the selected files and choose upload. When this dialog window opens, it's asking me if I want to overwrite the files in this directory that already exists with the same names. This is exactly what I want to do, so I'll check Always Use This Action, and then click on OK. Now all the files of the update patch file will upload to the server in the directory where I have my Joomla site installed. When the upload process is done, I'll go to the back end of my site and refresh the page. In the upper right, the version number has changed to 1.5.15, which is the most current version, so I'm all set.